Hi and welcome back to Games Web. Um, in this video I'm going to take a quick look at the 1st, 4th and 10th Doctors expansion pack from Warlord Games for the Into the Time Vortex Doctor Who miniatures game, which um, I just recently got hold of. Um, these miniatures are absolutely fantastic. So with this we get um, three miniatures to represent the first incarnation as played by William Hartnell, the second, uh, sorry, the fourth incarnation as played by uh, the legend that is Tom Baker, and the tenth which is uh, David Tennant. We've got the back of the pock. Okay, so um, these miniatures are made out of really high quality uh, cast resin. Um, it's not brittle stuff. It's uh, quite, I think it's resin anyway. It feels like resin. Um, they seem to be, uh, they're all single cast and the actual quality of the material that's used is fantastic. No flash at all on any of these. Okay, so um, there's the paint schemes for them. So we have the first Doctor, complete with his tartan trousers. The tenth Doctor, here with his classic jacket on and his uh, cons. And also the uh, amazing tenth, uh, fourth Doctor, complete with his scarf. Okay, so without further ado, I'm just going to jump straight in. Now, one thing that you'll notice when you open the miniature packs is they come in a very nice little box. I don't mean the outer box. Okay, so they come with a wee pack of cards for use in the game. So you've got your entry cards and you've also got um, your uh, cards for your characters. So, um, have a look. So we've got um, the fourth Doctor. First Doctor, Tenth Doctor, and then um, these are uh, basically adventure cards. So, like Eloquent Speech, Would You Like a Jolly Baby, and I'm Sorry, I'm So Sorry. They're all classic traits that you would assume would actually go with that Doctor. So, First Doctor was very good at doing um, speech speeches. Would You Like a Jolly Baby? Classic quote from Tom Baker's Doctor, and I'm sorry, I'm so sorry from uh, David Tennant, who seemed to say sorry very, very often. Okay, so therefore using the game, um, all the characters are exactly the same. They've all got the exact same thing on them, um, with, the except, yep, with the exception of that one, he's got a range of one. Okay, so this is the bit that is really cool. So the miniatures come in a wee pack with a Gallifreyan symbol, which is the home of the Doctor's race, um, a planet Gallifrey. Uh, this is like a Time Vortex symbol. Uh, it's embossed, really cool. Okay, so we open this up slightly, if I can get into it. Now, I, I have actually opened this before and I've checked these out. And, um, okay, and I've just dropped one on the floor. Okay, so three Doctors, the first, the tenth, and the fourth. Right, so I'm just going to look at them um, in the chronological order. So here's the first Doctor. I have to forgive my hands. I've been working with sewing Christmas trees for the past couple of hours and my hands are filthy, even though they've been washed. Okay, so this likeness is very, very accurate. It's really good and looks just like William Hartnell. The sculpt is amazing and cannot be faulted. And if we look on the back... He's in a classic pose because the uh, first Doctor was um, quite um, quite the character when it came to being grandiose and above everybody else. The next one is um, Tom Baker's Doctor with um, his scarf. The detail on his face is fantastic. Now, my camera's not picking up all the detail on this, unfortunately, but this looks like Tom Baker's just been shrunk down. He's got his classic fedora hat and his long scarf and his jacket. The only thing he doesn't have is some jelly babies. Although I do believe there may be another doctor, fourth doctor coming out with some jelly babies. There's already another fourth doctor with K9. And here we have the David Tennant doctor. Um, very cocky, very self-assured, wearing his jacket with his uh, long trench coat with his suit jacket, his cons, and he's got his sonic screwdriver and it's facial details. Now, again, my camera's not picking out all the details on the faces and stuff, but they are fantastic. Oh, there we go. Has even got his tie on. Right, so um, all three of these are available uh, right now from the Warlord Games website. One last look at uh, Tom. 
and William. And they're quite cheap as well, they're not very expensive. Um, I'd like to uh, thank Paul Sawyer and Alonzo, uh, Alonzo, I can't pronounce it now, Alonzo for um, the all the help with this review, because they've actually uh, sent me these for free, uh, which is great, which is brilliant, um, which also prompted me to go out and buy the Doctor Who Exterminate game. Uh, I've got some more uh, unboxings, and I'm going to be going uh, coming up very shortly. I'm going to be running through the game with... Um, I've got the Jadoon coming, and I've also got uh, Missy and the uh, Davros sets they're coming and I've got um, some other stuff which I took uh, great pleasure in getting from the Warlord uh, sale uh, over Christmas, on New Year's Eve sorry with a 50% off sale I managed to get some classic figures, now I love Doctor Who in all its incarnations I like the new Doctor Who but I really do love old Doctor Who so I'm going to concentrate more or less on the old Doctor Who because that's what I grew up with that's what I really like so uh, that's a quick look at the First, fourth, and tenth Doctor pack from um, our good friends at Warlord Games. It's available now, so uh, go out and grab yourself a copy. As always, I'm Mark, Gamers Web. By gamers, for gamers.